What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. I hope you guys enjoyed the beginning little different perspective here of drifting and the jump drifts at Aussie Driftland here on a set of Corsa. So we're having a lot of fun with this S14 here at Driftland, and uh, I've been having a lot of fun with these Aussie cars. So I will leave the link in the description box below for all of them, and so you guys can download them yourself and give them a shot. We're just gonna run some jump drifts so you guys can also see my perspective of this with the pedal cam and wheel cam on. Don't hit the wall. Oh. Well, rip. Tried to go a little bit too saucy. So we're definitely gonna get that. So, a little bit too saucy on the first entry. So I've been trying to drift a lot more without using handbrake. If you noticed in the beginning, I barely used handbrake. I'm trying to use more clutch kicks and left foot braking and stuff like that to get the car where I need it to go because I'm relying too much on handbrake. So I'm trying to do be more committed without handbrake and just use the car's weight, use the clutch kick, use the left foot brake when I need to, and only use the handbrake every so often. I use it more in transitions than I would, uh, or in you know tandem transitions than I would normally if I'm behind somebody because I will need to use that. A little quick grab there, but no big deal. So let's see if we can't get this jump drift good. Ooh. Backy, oh, a little backy into the wall. Definitely, you know, not able to get that every single time as much as I should. So it was funny when I was doing the beginning recording for the cinematic for you guys. I got that was the first two runs out on those first two laps. I was able to get it right away, and now you know I'm sitting here making my mistakes. But you know what? Still getting dialed here in a set of course on the PC. I am registered for the Bushido Style Championship, so definitely need to uh, get some practice in tandem and stuff like that. I did choose to run the Corvette, so we are going to be running the Corvette for round one. Don't know where round one is yet. We will know that in a couple days, and once I find out where it is, I will be practicing so much at that track. Right off that clip, there we go. So much at that track so that I can get the car dialed and comfortable so that I am competitive and can qualify in. They took 150 drivers, so, and I believe only 32 qualify, so it's definitely a, a big field to be qualified into. There we go. Didn't even, see, I wasn't thinking about it. Look what happened. When I don't think about it, it kind of happens. I ran that a little wider because I want to see if I can run against the wall. So like I said, I've been having a lot of fun at this, uh, Aussie drift track with these Australian drift cars and uh, I will leave the link in the description box below so you guys can try them out yourself the 240s definitely fun cars the S14 the S13.4 the little vert now I am getting used to the you know all right hand drive cars more and more but it's still a little weird for me being, you know, from the States, everything we have is, you know, left-hand drive. I mean, I've driven a S14 right-hand drive before, but... Oh, there we go. Alright, see so we can go two for two here. I tried. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram ew, and Twitter. All of which are found in the description box below. If you guys want to keep seeing us, of course, on the channel, make sure you guys, you know, like and subscribe. I do appreciate all the support. I am working to get my server set up so that I can start running some open lobbies here on a set of Corsa. So if you do have Content Manager, once I get it up, you'll be able to download these cars for yourself and come on in if I'm running these cars because I am having a lot of fun with these cars. They handle very well. We may switch up to another car here and see what other car we can run here on this Australian playground and try a different car. But just getting super smooth on my steering and allowing 
kind of the wheel to do its own thing when it needs to and just you know let it fly and we just bumped into the wall again so we're gonna switch up cars Let's see which other car we got all these ADC cars got some we got some Holden's some Utes IS's FC's old Datsun 350's S13's S13 point four which is probably one of my favorite ones right now the convertible s14 some kookies some s15s jzx 100 some chasers Solora and crestas so i think we're gonna run a big body to hit a jzx 100 we're gonna try it because it's only at 296 brake horsepower so we're going to run that, try and get this thing jumping, see what we can do with it. So like I said, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all which you found in the description box below. Toyota JZX100 race canceled. Why? Before we take this 14, 13.4 out, we need to adjust our tire pressures down to 20. Try to get a little more grip so that we don't completely biff the wall when we try to do our backwards entries and I think that's exactly what happened with that 14. I think the tire pressure is a little bit off. Now we have a little bit more grip. Yep. So now we have more grip. And it's able to hold it where I need it to. And I think when I was running the 14, just a few minutes ago, I was not at 20 rear or anything lower than that caused me to slide out way further than I needed to. So this S13.4 is definitely a lot of fun with the S14 front, the S13 rear, and the convertible. Sounds amazing. I love the fire belching out of the hood. Switch the head and energy animation wheel instead of this uh, vertex wheel, you know, energy you know, love right in the game would be sweet. I need to get into modifying cars and designing my own cars so that I can do stuff like that and have you know replica of my you know sit wheel on my wheel in the game. There we go. Two. Two two. Yeah. So that's what we need to do, we just need to make sure we have our tire pressure set, because otherwise, well, it goes crazy. We're going to run the other, you know, version, track, a version of this, not come out this way next time. We'll cut it shorter, go to the S a little bit. Kind of botch that entry a little bit too much. Almost taking the front of the car off. We're gonna hit the wall. I knew that was gonna happen. That that entry, I could tell right away as soon as we entered that that was gonna end very badly. So instead of going far right, cut this. Cut this way through the S's. Much shorter version of the track, not going to the woods section. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode with a different view in the beginning. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. See you guys on the track. Rip. <laughs>